Welcome guys. I'm going to show you how to screen or mirror your screen from your mobile to your PC. So to do that, um, I'm going to be doing this on a Windows actually. So to do that, we have to download an application called Any Any Desk. Make sure you get the spelling right. And then this is the application right there. I already have it downloaded. So um, and I also have it downloaded on my PC. So on the PC, to get it on your PC, all you need to do is to type in any disk. Then you hit enter. So um, this is the application right there. When you click on the application, uh, you click on download and you'll be able to download the application right there. Once you click this, it's going to automatically download based on your US. And guys, let me share a quick information before I continue the video. You can notice that this particular um, application has Windows, it has Mac OS, it has Android, iOS, Linux, Freebie, Raspberry Pi, and then your Chrome OS. So this also works on Chrome OS and so many other software compared to the previous application I have done so far. All those two applications do not have support for every device, just like this one. So you should consider using this. This is actually one of my best, but then um, I didn't make a video about it initially for some reason. So let's continue. So I already have it downloaded on my device. So I'm going to type in any desk to uh, display it. So I'm going to click on it to have it open. So I'm also going to click on my mobile to click. I'm going to click open to have it open on my mobile. So it says plugin available for controlling um, device remotely. Uh, a plugin is required, but I do not want to do that. So it actually hangs when you're controlling the device remotely from your mobile. But if you have a very fast internet, you can do just that. So um, let's start. So you notice on both device or on both end, it has where it says your address. Now, if I want to connect my PC to my mobile, all I am going to do is to copy the uh, address of my PC into my mobile and hit enter. But if I want to display my mobile on my PC, I have to put in uh, my mobile address on my PC. So let's start first with uh, our PC. So let's assume I want to connect my PC to my mobile. Now, let me go ahead and enter in the displayed address on my PC. So I'm going to press 1511 six seven zero five zero seven and then once you're done typing just go ahead and click enter on your uh, uh on your keyboard right here or you can just go ahead and hit this one the forward icon and you notice it says new any desk version i'm actually not interested in that but i think it's trying to make it a must probably there is something um that is on the latest version probably i'm going to download that later on but right, not right now so on your pc you are going to notice where it displays an information saying samsung ms and then that's my samsung number would like to connect so you just need to do accept so when you do accept you confirm that you are accepting this device so if you notice on my mobile it says connecting right and now it has connected so go ahead and click on the middle or anywhere to remove that. So right now, I can now control this uh, PC on from my mobile. So I can click on the start. You notice I just click on the start. It started. And I can click on this browser to open up the browser. I can open up a new tab right there. And you can see how easy they are displaying. Now let me try to uh, type in a browser. So if you want to type in, Click on this arrow right on this uh, middle area where you see the um, icon for for any desk. And then hover on the click and hold. Then you hover on the mouse and then you can press this one. Okay, you know what? Let me see if it displays a full screen. Okay, uh, it's not showing that. So let me just go ahead and type in since I actually wanted to type in. So click right there and then type in Google dot com and then hit enter so this should load up google.com and display now you notice it displays google.com on the browser so just like this you can also minimize minimize 
and do other things these are the application i have you can right click and do anything you want but guys just know that this is actually making use of your internet so if your internet is slow this is not going to work properly and if you notice yesterday when i was doing this on on remote desktop is it was actually slow and it was hanging so um i would recommend you guys to use this and also you can also add multiple devices to this let me go ahead and connect with a different um a different mobile phone all right let me go ahead and connect with a different mobile phone so um you get that we could actually connect with multiple devices to this so um i hope i still have any desk i did not delete Oh, I already uninstalled any desk on this device. I already uninstalled any desk. But then, if another device is connecting, you will see the device display right here. So multiple devices can still connect to your address, not just one, um, not just one device. So any desk is quite interesting, and you you guys should go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect to disconnect um, any desk click on this area you see this um icon right there click on it and you notice it says session closed so on your pc you are also going to notice that the session has been closed so um this is the previous section it has been closed and you can see it has this um icon right there so to connect your to connect your mobile with your pc all you need to do is to go ahead and type in the remote address just like we did for the mobile to pc so i'm just going to go ahead and type in the remote address 8273056620 and then once you're done you hit enter so it's going to display on my mobile device that um you notice it display that um somebody another uh, person would like to access your network so i'm going to click on I'm aware and do not show this warning again and then accept so <clears throat> now it has accepted you notice it says incoming connection these are what they want to do they are want to use your mouse and, and i'm actually okay but if you do not want them to be able to use any of this feature you can actually click um click on it to disable this particular feature so when you disable this feature this person cannot use the mouse or he cannot use this mouse and he cannot use the keyboard on your device so you are only going to allow them to display and see but then you are going to be in control just disable all this thing anything you mark in red is actually going to be disabled but do not worry i'm actually okay i'm going to enable it and i'm going to click on accept and then i'm going to start now so you will notice on the mobile area it says uh, on the pc it says connected so it's still trying to load because probably the network is trying to connect so once it's connected it's going to be displaying the uh, mobile view on the pc but that has not properly connected yet so let's wait for it to load this is taking longer than the mobile it's showing that it's connected right here it's showing connected already oh you see now viewing any desk okay i try to connect by mistake dismiss this says connected but is waiting for the image this is taking longer time so the remote user rejected your connection that's fine i'm actually going to cancel this and do the connection again the address is supposed to be showing but it didn't show but let me go ahead and type it in this is it hit enter um connection then i'm just going to say accept why is this active start now okay now you can see this is our mobile so um you can i'm trying to control it but it says the mouse is disabled for some reason the mouse was disabled um let me go ahead and enable that i can't exactly tell why the um the mouse is not working on my PC and I cannot click anywhere on the mobile but I can see it properly uh, I can see everything display but that is not all I want I also want to be able to click on it and see the um, see and do the same thing on my PC just like I did on the mobile and this used to work but 
I exactly do not know the reason why it didn't work, but if I figure that out, I'm going to share it with you. But I have been using this before now and it works properly. So I think maybe because of the updates that they require, that is probably the reason why um, it's not working that way. So um, with that said, guys, I actually think this is the end of my video and I really appreciate you guys for watching. And I'm going to see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.